What's so wrong in the insurance industry? We have strong hierarchies. We have people still thinking in strong hierarchies and that do everything to maintain this hierarchy. It's about keeping employees small in their small role that they cannot grow. In this video, I will share three things and one nasty story I experienced at the Messe Congress IT für Versicherung in the beautiful and old city of Leipzig. Even for German, the long name. So I listen to this. I'm scouting digital and tech trends around the world in order to bring it to you. And I've helped numerous companies to set up ecosystems of digital products and services and to increase their reach with attention hacking. The whole team of the Congress was really, really nice and awesome. And they allowed me not only to have a raffle to get free tickets for you, thousand bucks each, but actually they allowed me to bring friends of mine working at a large insurer in Leipzig to bring to the conference for free. My friends are very excited. They went to their superior and said, I got this free tickets for this amazing conference right outside the office. Is it okay when I attend? And what did the superior say? He said, no, 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 no. You are just a subject matter expert. And these conferences are just for managers, senior decision makers and C-suits. And actually, we should give the free ticket to somebody from the headquarters in Munich. And then don't get inspired by attending such an event. It's about crushing ambition. It's about crushing motivation. It's about keeping hierarchy and keeping um, control intact. And this is so wrong in 2019. So in the end, my friend could not come, but actually needed to stay at home. And the free tickets provided by uh, Dr. Andre Köhler, by Nicole and Vivian, actually were never used. But now about the three things I learned. First, there is a whole ecosystem of service providers that have specialized in helping traditional carriers and traditional insurance companies with their issues. So you have highly specialized companies in COBOL and mainframe systems that actually um, participated at the conference and you saw them walking around. They had a lot of stands there. What does it mean? It's a challenge because when you work together with a highly specialized service provider in the industry for 10, 20, 30 years, it might be that they don't get the input from other industries. So I think, um, again, highly specialized service provider, it's, a, it's great, but be aware, um, don't focus only um, on them. The third thing I learned, there were almost no startups there. I value conferences like the Messe Kongress IT for Versicherungen in Leipzig a lot because you meet a lot of decision makers, but I, I really missed some startups there, some startup spirit there. The third thing, we had a lot of but young-minded decision makers at this conference, C-suits, senior VPs, team leads, or just regular subject matter experts that were not prohibited by their bosses to show up. You had a lot of self-satisfying discussions about not only um, how few years retirement is only away, but actually about that a lot of modern technologies, the few startups actually at present presented, that this technology doesn't matter, it's not important, it doesn't work, um, social media is not important, AI, um, um, we already have AI in our fraud detection program, we use Excel that has served us a lot over the last 20 years, so all these arguments you heard there a lot. But I think this is the great thing about this event. Um, if you want to get in touch with these people, make sure to go to this event and to other events of the Software Forum Leipzig. Hey guys, it would help us a lot if you could hit the subscribe button down there and to make us also grow here on YouTube. Thank you very much.